This video is about building the uh, Stevens Aero model G480. Um, not a new kit. Uh, matter of fact, it's been around since 2005. I'm sure many have been built, um, but I just wanted to do a video to show the construction of the kit. The reason uh, I got this model is I have a Sunny Sky X2220 1400KV motor that needs a home and looking around on the internet this kit seemed to fit the bill I plan on using a 3S 2200 milliamp capacity battery uh, which should make it pretty lively the uh, e -cal calculations give me about 250 uh, watts per pound the, uh, the kit itself this laser cut, um, very nice laser cutting, I don't know if you can see, uh, it has some uh, 1 16th and some 1 8th inch balsa in it, um, see that the laser cutting is very nice and as you can see the parts just kind of fall out of it. It also has some 1 32nd ply, some 1 8th and some 1 16th inch ply as well. Again, some of the pieces just start falling out on their own. Fortunately, I have a whole these and they're just fillers anyway. Um, what else comes with the kit? This has some 24 inch uh, carbon fiber strip. I think it's about 1 32nd of an inch, even though I haven't liked it. Um, there's four pieces of that, um, two pieces of music wire landing gear, it has some 47 thousandths of an inch <coughs> push rod wire with some longer push rod wire, it has a <coughs> couple of tires, a little baggie <coughs> with some uh, wooden dowels, tail wheel, some screws, some CA hinges, some nylon bolts, and then there's a magnet in there somewhere uh, for the battery hold down. You get a couple of uh, Dubro micro square control horns. The ailerons use these uh, 1 32nd inch ply cutouts. Probably in the music, I don't really see any reason not to use them. I may have to double up um, to make them stiff. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. And then two packages of the Bro Mini Easy Connectors. Uh, the cow, very nice. Uh, came undamaged, fairly thin plastic, but it's sturdy enough. It seems to do a nice job on it. Uh, instructions do say that the cow will fit very snugly against the uh, firewall. We'll see how that goes. Canopy is also in good shape. Uh, I'm not going to take the clear plastic protective covering off of it, but it's undamaged. It's not scratched. It looks to be in good shape. And then finally with the kit, there's two uh, pages of plans. There's one for the wing, one for the fuselage. Um, the way this kit's built with the jigsaw style laser cutting, uh, or jigsaw puzzle style laser cutting, you don't really need the plans um, because everything just fits together so well. Um, the plans are really useful though. Make sure you get the right um, orientation of the part. So with that, Looking for the first part that looks uh, kind of like the leading edge, and I believe this right here looks like the leading edge, so we'll just start cutting parts out.
Now, they do mention, and I, and I think all laser cut kits talk about this, is you really should sand off the, late, the burning charring of the wood from the laser cutter. Um, I never have really done that, to be honest. Uh, I suppose it would give you a stronger joint. Um, but these things lock together so well that, in my view, it's not really necessary. I push down both parts using my finger to make sure there's no ridges. Your fingers are much more accurate than your eyes are. Let's look for the trailing edge, which should be this piece right here. Here's where your plans come in handy. I don't know if you can see, but the ends are just they're kind of angled offset, so you need to make sure that you find the correct angle. So maybe it goes like this. There we go. So this is where the, the plans really come in handy, that you get this jigsaw just right. And then the end piece. Now notice here the end piece actually comes up to here. And we have this to add as well. So let's go with the end piece, which looks like it should be here. Sometimes it does help to take the piece off the board and just kind of push it together with your fingers. Just makes things a little bit easier. I do mention in the instructions not to force anything, and I don't really force. Ah, look at there. See, here's a good example. See that notch and that notch? This notch is just a little bit wider than this notch. So, in this case, we flip it around. Oh, and I lost a piece. All right. we flip it around, and what do you know? It fits much, much better this way. Alright. And for the last outer piece. framework is together. Now I believe the instructions have you go ahead and glue this in and then glue in the truss but I've always felt better about in a situation like this where everything just kind of keys and snaps in together. Go ahead and get everything together first make sure it's flat some weight or something to keep it flat and then add your glue. So I'm going to go that route. These pieces are just 
um, strips. So it's these three and then these three. match up. First let's start up here with this one. That's just a long piece. That looks to be about the right size. This is a case here you see there's a B and a B. There's nothing on this end. So this says A. That's not it. This says A and B, but there's no A. So what we need is B and A square end. Again, you need to match up. At first, I wanted to put it in like this, but that obviously doesn't work. So you gotta flip it over, make sure you get the correct orientation. You need another B and an A. So here's a B and an A. Make sure we have the correct orientation. sure that that is actually the correct fit. Let's put this cross member in. This piece is giving me a little bit of trouble. Just takes a little bit of persuasion. You don't have to press hard. You don't have to press the life out of it. Just a little bit of persuasion. Bring your fingers over, make sure it's all flat. That looks good. Now an A. Another A goes here. Uh, let's see, it goes like this. So as you can see, not just because you have an A facing up here doesn't necessarily mean you'll have an A here facing up. case the other A is facing down. That's good. And then the final cross member. Alright. That's all together. That all feels flat. That all matches up with the plan. Alright, time for some glue. Now normally I build off of a glass table, but since this room is just temporary, I wasn't going to put a glass table in there. So what I'm doing to keep the glue off of the plan is to use black paper. The uh, kit says you can use the plastic that the uh, false sheets come in. That's true, you could. Um, I just like to use wax paper, personal preference. Now in this case we already know that everything matches up so it's really not necessary to make sure the parts fit over the plan perfectly. 
but we do want to make sure it stays flat. Now, in my real shop, I have lead weights, which I don't have here, and I wasn't going to make any for this. So I'll just put some, some files, which have a little bit of weight, and then start going in. Now, one other thing that I do is I like to use a little plastic baggie. I save all the baggies that parts come in. And I use them uh, when I use CA. Let me get a fresh baggie here. Um, and I'll show you how what I'm talking about uh, using a plastic baggie. Add, make sure the parts are fit well. Add a little bit of CA. And then I rub the CA with the plastic bag. And what that does is that helps to prevent the uh, CA from kicking off really fast and then creating that hard concrete bubbles that happen sometimes, which is a real pain to, to uh, sand off. Makes the joint really smooth, or smoother than without doing it. I think that should pretty much have it. Everything is glued. Everything is smooth. Now, the glue will stick a little bit to the wax paper, but it's not a big deal. Sometimes the wax paper, if I use it too many times, recycle it too many times, it will stick. But that's pretty nice. Let's see how straight it is. Bad. Very nice. Covering will help to take out any little curvature um, that this thing develops. Alright, so that is the other elevator I have. Let's take a quick look with the horizontal stab. Stab, one elevator, half, and the other elevator half. Alright, looks pretty good.